All hella beard, it's your boy Big B B, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today we're popping into something different, something new, and something fresh. Today we're talking about seven colognes Drake would wear. Now, as I mentioned, this is something new on the channel. If you would like me to send one of your favorite artists, musicians, etc., comment that down below and we'll hop into it. Now, we're going to start this list off, and I think it's only right to start this list off with something that was said in the song. Tom Ford Tuscan Leather Smelling Like a Brick. And today we're starting off with Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. Now, Tom Ford has been synonymous with Drake for quite a bit. There's tons of videos floating around with him rocking Tom Ford, as well as the Tom Ford references within songs. So it's only right for him to circle back around to the house of Tom Ford. Now, if you are new to Tom Ford fragrances, this one here is from the Private Blend Collection. And this one is likely to be found at some of the... Uh, more exclusive locations if you're looking for the wide range of fragrances that they offer but Tuscan leather obviously has some leather within it you also have some smoky notes here and a little bit of spice with a hint of this uh, raspberry feel an amazing fragrance in my personal opinion and one that I constantly rock specifically in the colder weather this one gets compliments they're coming in from the ladies so don't miss out with this one Tom Ford Tuscan leather now the next fragrance on our list today is one that also comes from a higher end brand and it's a brand that I love. You know when it comes down to this fragrance game, I really do this. The fragrance that we're topping into today is from the House of Pop from Damali and this one is that of Pegasus Exclusive. Now we're not talking about the original Pegasus here, we're talking about the exclusive version because why would Drake go with the original when there's an exclusive available? This fragrance here does so much well and it really plays on the notes that you find in the original, i.e. that bitter almond with there, there's a natural oud within this fragrance, but it doesn't smell oudy, it's not stink. This fragrance has this upper echelon feel to it, and it's a classy, sexy, masculine scent that I feel Drake would wear. Especially, this is going to be one that works for those colder months. This is refined masculinity. You spray this fragrance on, and not only are you going to look like a million bucks because you're going to be that confident head up chest out you know how we rock but you're also going to smell amazing this one has that exclusive accord within it that is found in the old exclusive fragrances from the house of Paul from Demarling. so be sure to check this one out and get your drake on pegasus exclusive now drake if you're watching this video and you you don't rock these fragrances today then you need to <laughs> all right now the next fragrance i want to hop into is one from a house that gets a lot of love and drake is probably already into this house but he may not be on to this fragrance the fragrance that we're talking about next comes from the house of zhirzhov and this one is zhirzhov's Amabile. Now, Amabile is a little bit different than some of the other fragrances that we've experienced on this channel from the house of Zhirzhov. Now, this one comes with this velvety velour bottle, and the presentation on this thing is top tier. But the presentation aside, this fragrance does a lot of things well and quite a bit different than the fragrances that we'll talk about today. Now, as you can see here, this one has this green look, right? It kind of reminds me of Get Him to the Greek and he's rubbing on the wall. Okay, that's kind of how I feel about this. But all that side, this one is a 2020 release, and this fragrance is uh, spicy, but it's sweet. But I would be remiss if I did not say that this fragrance is definitely tart. Okay, this fragrance has this tart approach to it, and this one is based on the notes of apples, all right, green apples specifically. Uh, it has this crispiness to it, this freshness within this fragrance that is also brought to you by some bergamot within here, a whole host of Mediterranean fruits. You also get some exotic woods within this fragrance and then some vanilla. This is a great scent for spring and summer. White t-shirt approved. Go out with your diamond chains on, diamond necklaces, diamond watches. Real cool. Keep it classy. Amabile from Georgia. Now, the next fragrance on our list today is one that comes from the house of Creed, and this one, to me, symbolizes success. And no, it's not what you're thinking. We all know, if you're into this fragrance game, that Creed of Ventus is that fragrance that was really meant to embody or capture the essence of the successful man. But I think this fragrance I'm going to talk about next really takes it up a notch. Now, we all know that Drake is not going to wear something that's commonplace, and if you're into fragrances 
Aventus is commonplace. But this fragrance that I want to talk about now is that of Creed Spice and Wood. Now, Spice and Wood comes from their Le Royale exclusive lineup, and there are a few there, but this one just takes it really to a whole nother level. This fragrance has some darkness to it, but not dark like okay this scent is really one that is not as bright as the one that we just talked about we'll put it that way this fragrance does have a spicy component to it but this is an elegant spice it just really tickles the nostrils in terms of what it does and it also still has this freshness to it which is why i said it's not like a dark dark scent it's just darker than the last one that we discussed for me this fragrance is going to be one that goes well and at fall and possibly early winter or early spring is where this scent would work best. Spice and Wood is classy, it's sophisticated, it's elegant, and this scent is really the embodiment of a successful man, if you ask me. I'm thinking of, you know, boardroom certified. You can walk in any room and know that you smell amazing and the compliments are going to roll in. Dope fragrance for the house of Creed, Creed, Spice, and Wood. Now, as I transition into this next scent, this one is also a newer fragrance, but this one's a little bit different because this is not a fragrance that most men would think to transition to, but the creators of this fragrance make sure that you put this in mind. And I think that Drake would wear this fragrance and really wear it well. And this fragrance is none other than L'Homme a la Rose. Now you heard me say that Rose at the end. Now this one is really predicated on the notes of Rose and done in a way that will work for men. Now to me, when I wear L'Homme a la Rose, I think of a fragrance that really bodes well with the ladies. Now, if you know ladies love roses, most ladies do, or at least enjoy the look of them, right? And this scent here really embodies that entire essence. If you're spraying loam a la rose, you can think of this. It starts off fresh, then goes green, then goes into this floral capacity, and then drops into this woody goodness. An amazing scent that I think a lot of guys out there will look over because it says rose or may not be as popular, but that is a good thing because it's not going to be worn by everyone, which means when you spray this thing on, you are going to really just be on a whole nother level. And if your outfit is right with this scent, you're just taking it all the way through skyline, baby. Nothing will be the same. Now, as I go into the final two fragrances here, this one comes from the house of Initio Parfums Privé, and this one is that of Musk Therapy. Now, when I'm thinking of Drake's songs, I think of them to be really therapeutic in some cases. There's really something there for everyone to get you through almost any situation, and uh, hey, this fragrance really does that as well. Now, what I'll tell you about this fragrance is that this one is a part of the Hedonist collection, which also features that of Rehab, and that one is an amazing scent as well that I could likely see Drake wearing too, but Musk Therapy is the newer of the two, and obviously, as the top tier rapper out there, you gotta be in the latest and greatest. This fragrance here just really provides something that is natural, is sensual, and addictive. And I keep going back to Drake music and I know the ladies are really tuned in. And he said that initially. He said, when my album dropped, the girls are buying for the picture, the boys are buying and say they got it for their sister. All right, I'm trying to edit it on the way here. But you get what I'm talking about here. This scent is really just that. You wear this fragrance, it could work for you, but it could also work for that lady in the household. But nonetheless, this one here is just an extremely addictive fragrance. It works, garners compliments, and one that I'm happy to have in the collection, Musk Therapy. And as we get into this final fragrance on today's list, and I won't say much about it, Besides, it's phenomenal. But I'll also say that this fragrance was inspired by the soulful essence of the desert. Okay, this scent is just top tier. The fragrance comes from the house of Barredo, and this one is Barredo's Mojave Ghost. Now, this one is really centered around a floral component, but it's done so clean and so versatile that this one is an extremely good unisex scent. Unisex fragrance done right, if you ask me. That stated, to me, Mojave Ghost is light, yet refined. It's raw, yet addictive. It has a floral component to it, but it's fresh enough that it really has this fresh out of the shower feel without smelling like a shower gel. This is a scent that I think could be someone's signature scent, 
to wear forever and nothing else. That's really how good this scent is. But this fragrance to me is more geared towards spring and summer. Therefore, we have to talk about the other fragrances that we have today. Amazing fragrance from the house of Barreto. And if you know that Barreto did a collaboration with Travis Scott, and I would also see Drake wearing that one because he tends to support his friends from time to time, even behind the scenes and just rock some things. And maybe he would rock that and say, hey, I got on some Travis Scott Space Rage. I think that's what it's called. I got it back there somewhere because that's what I do. All right, listen, man. Those are seven fragrances I feel Drake would wear. Comment down below if you would like to see me scent any other rappers, entertainers, etc. Or if you have your own list of fragrances that he would wear. As always, I'm your boy, Big BB. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.